Hello, your tech admin here, and today we're taking a look at Ubuntu 9.04 beta. Now, I have mine running in a virtual machine as opposed to installing it on an actual physical machine, but um, you can get the ISO image for the beta from Ubuntu.com. Um, I think the final version is being released April 23rd. Not exactly sure about that, but um, here we are at the uh, login screen. You can already tell the login screen is different from the previous versions of Ubuntu. Uh, it's really edgy and nice looking and dark. I really like it as opposed to uh, the one that's on 8.10. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and let it count down and log me in to um, my account because I have it set to automatically log in. On my uh, previous video, the one talking about um, me posting this video and the um, one about the unboxing of the DSi, I'm probably not going to be unboxing the DSi as soon as I get it. I'm probably going to be unboxing it around 9 o'clock, 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. So, you know, okay, it's uh, booting into um, my user account right now. The uh, installation of the... Um, operating system onto a virtual disk went off without a hitch. I mean everything went perfectly. I had no problems. And then it started real nice and neatly and I was really pleased about that. Okay, here we are in the um desktop. Nothing much really looks different besides the um wallpaper back here. And um all the menus and everything look the same. So uh, we'll go ahead and pull down our drop down list and yeah, pretty much all the basic stuff that comes with a, the previous versions of Ubuntu. Firefox, uh, the rhythm box, stuff like that. Um, go under system and preferences and there's one new thing in this menu right here is a computer janitor. And uh, what it does is just cleans up your system after a while, because you know you can get after you install and uninstall a couple things, old configuration files and stuff like that could be left on your computer. And uh, th what this does is pretty much just cleans all that up. And uh, you have to type in administrator password to uh, access it. Type that in. <coughs> Sorry, it's running a little slow because uh, I'm running uh, it, it. I'm running it in virtual box, and also with a screen recorder on top of that, it's not too friendly to my computer. <laughs> so things are gonna run a little slow. But uh, anyway, it lists things that will uh, that it's gonna clean up and fix right here, and you just select clean up, and it cleans them off. So that's pretty much um, that new feature. Um, another thing I noticed when messing around in um, the beta is that when you got to change your background, instead of it just changing straight over, it has more like of a, a like a fade effect to it. Like when I click this background, it's going to fade from the previous one into the new one. Watch. Did you see that? It's that really, really nice fade effect. It's pretty nice. That's one of the things I noticed. Um, themes got a couple new ones like uh, New Wave and Dust Sand, but uh, you know they're pretty basic. Nothing that is all that great. Um, it still has my favorite theme coming that comes with it. Uh, Dark Room. I think it's a pretty nice looking theme to be one that actually comes with Ubuntu, so that's just me. But uh besides that you got your um effects of course and instead of using these you can just always install compiz. But uh let's see if it's gonna let me enable them. doing some pretty funky stuff here uh, could not be enabled okay well I don't know why it won't let me enable them but mm. I 
have to iron that out but that's probably just because I'm running it from a virtual machine instead of an actual machine or something like that I don't know um, let's see there's not really that many new features from the previous version most of the uh, new updates and stuff are just you know behind the scenes fixes of bugs and stuff like that not really really that many completely new features uh, I've always had trouble accessing Windows Network so I'm going to I don't know what's up with it haven't been able to fix that yet either not even on my main system but uh besides that everything's pretty much normal with Ubuntu open up Firefox it's probably gonna take forever because of the uh all the stuff I'm running on my computer right now I don't know if you can hear it but my processor fan is going crazy down there <laughs> see if it's gonna open here we go yeah all right so that loaded up pretty quickly go ahead and minimize that um uh, see here we'll open the system monitor It's eating up 74% of the uh, 245 megabytes of memory that I installed on the virtual machine. So, uh, it'd probably be wise to have a little bit more memory than that in your Ubuntu computer, but uh, CPU's idling at about uh, 20%, I'd say. Uh, plenty of space left on a seven gig hard drive that's pretty neat uh, there you go release 9.04 jaunty jaunty jack 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 liner i think it was so uh... yeah that's pretty much a quick look at ubuntu 9.4 i'm still exploring it every day and looking at for uh... new features and stuff that they've added uh, but um besides the basic stuff that you get with Ubuntu there's nothing really new about it oh did they? they did alright there's open office 3 now on Ubuntu I haven't opened up office um, this yet but uh 8.10 is my 8.10 is version is running Office 2.4 so 3 that's a little better I've tried to install actually Open Office 3 on uh, 8.10 and couldn't get it to work so uh, see here Open Office 3.0.1 that's neat. See, I'm finding new things every couple of minutes. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. If I discover some more stuff, I'll uh, update you guys and tell you about it. And shut down the virtual machine. Oh that's a new thing the um loading bar they changed it I don't know if that's just for the beta or if that's gonna be the official changed one but if it is I don't really like it I like the uh, other one